Hey there, YouTubers. All right, so we have the i710-700K with the good old Noctua uh, single tower, 140 millimeter fan. Now, what am I doing in this video, folks? Um, well, not showing you how to, you know, make a test bench because this just looks terrible. We're going to be monitoring the, monitoring the uh, wattage that this thing draws, okay? And in a little bit, I'll tell you what I'm, I'm going to do with it. But uh, we've got the aim time here. You can see right now it is drawing um, 26 watts. And that is basically, uh, this is not plugged into the wall. It is just plugged into this solar battery. Um, and we're powering this thing up. I've got, for a power supply, we've got the EVGA 850BQ. This should be 80 plus. So what this actually uses over here versus what you're going to see on the screen, you know, are two different uh, things because you have some losses through the power supply, right? So software wise, here's what we're going to do. Okay. I'm doing a, a basic core overclock. Now I haven't tested this thing all the way up to uh, a 51 multiplier or 5.1 gigahertz across all cores. So we're just going to uh, stick it at uh, 51 uh, on the first two and 50 for the rest. Now, what is this going to do? It's going to increase our multi-core scoring and our benchmarking. What else is it probably going to do? It's probably going to suck up a lot more juice, okay? So, um, you know, there's uh, the default method, which uh, maybe I should show you that first, huh? Why don't you guys, you guys probably want to see that. Let's do defaults first. All right, so all good experiments start with a... Uh, basically a baseline and uh you know of course all of them also should do at least three three rounds uh, i'm only going to do one for the sake of uh, saving your time now what else do we do we have uh pl1 here I think this is pl1 pl1 set to unlimited and pl2 now i'm not going to change this back to the defaults um but we're going to run this at least the cpu uh, at its default settings. The power limits are not. So let's go ahead and I'm going to hit the benchmark over here. All right. But you're going to watch this so you can see how much power this thing draws. And then we'll come back and we'll look at core TDP and package TDP. So I hit run. And you're going to see this thing shoot up 119, 138, 160. Now, would you see these 185? Would you see these high values if I didn't have power limits on here? Set to unlimited, no. You would probably see something less. 190. So I think that's the, the highest we saw was 190. And you can hear this thing cranking. Whenever it makes that sound, 193. Whenever I hear that sound out of it, it tells me it's cranking. All right. So... This is kind of our baseline uh, numbers, okay? Here's our benchmark, 3331. And this is, like I said, with power limits set to unlimited. This would be lower, probably about 3311 uh, or so if we did not have um, power limits set to unlimited. Max core frequency, 4.75. We're going to kick that in the you-know-what in a second. Highest CPU, 61 degrees Celsius. Let's come down here. So... Package TDP, 143, 142 for the core. Core voltage is 1.349. I expect all of these values to go up enormously, okay? Let's check these. This is a good check. Thermal throttling, power limit throttling, no. So these are both no, which means that uh, we have not had any you know, issues with performance. Oh, one other thing, folks. A lot of people ask, hey, extreme overclocking. Well, there you go. There's your uh, 1 by 8 and 1 by 4, okay? So we are cranking, hence why I've got this power supply. I'm back in Virginia where I could actually use, uh, I had the second rail sitting here at the house, so I'm finally able to use this thing. All right, so we're going to change these. Um, I'm just doing the cores, not messing with B-core. And boom. So we'll have... We should be somewhere over uh, 5 gigahertz for the max. Now, I would go 51, but I haven't tested it out on this uh, this CPU cooler. I did do it on the, the big massive one I have, but uh, not on this one. So I'm going to run the benchmark, and you're going to see what you saw a second ago. All right, folks, let's go ahead and hit run. 
and you are undoubtedly going to see higher numbers. I will tell you that much. 219, 191, 245. That's a new record. Two sixty one, two twenty two, okay so it's done let's go back over here boom knock that crap out of the park right that is a huge increase you can see what this will do to your multi-core score 5.02 gigahertz and like i said if i did 5.1 it'd be more impressive we went up by i think nine or ten degrees temperature wise and let's go down here real quick because i'm running out of camera time 179 178 and this went up to 1.489 so huge power increase folks all right, so uh, obviously you see there was a huge power increase, and, uh, you know, that is uh, what you can expect. So I'm going to do some testing, and we'll uh, we'll try and push this thing, folks, to 5.1, okay? I'm going to make sure that it uh, I slowly get up there. I'll spare you guys that aspect. I'm going to, you know, have to run the stress test and then do the, uh, the benchmark. So um, we'll see if, if this works out. All right, folks, 51 multiplier across all cores. We should hit a max, hopefully, of 5.1 gigahertz. I did not mess with vCore. Uh, obviously, if you want to fine-tune stuff, you would uh, start messing with that. And I did not mess with the uh, the cache voltage. But regardless, you're going to see higher scores with this. Is this going to help your gaming? Probably not. But, uh, you know, if you have a game that multi-core scoring helps you out, then uh, you will see something. Otherwise, this is just good for benchmarking. So let's run our benchmark, and hopefully nothing will explode over here. And uh, we've got plenty of juice left in the battery. So here I go, hit and run. Now, I think our highest was 264. I have a feeling we're going to blow that one out the door. But we'll see. So far, we haven't even gotten close to it yet. Two seventy one, new record. God, that's exciting, folks. I hope you guys are excited as I am. And it drained. That really started to drain the battery. All right, over here. I think that is a new high score, folks. 3549, 5.06 gigahertz. So we did not achieve exactly 5.1. That's disappointing. Temperature went up a little bit more, 75 degrees Celsius. Now, um, I don't know that, you know, a better CPU cooler like I have around the corner would have helped us with some of these numbers, but, uh, you know, your guess is as good as mine. Package TDP 182, core TDP 181, and then voltage shot up to 1.494. Did we have any issues with thermal throttling? No, and no power limit. So, uh, oh, I will say I got to apologize that I did not use the screen capture card, video capture card. Uh, this motherboard only has one HDMI out. So uh, with my capture card to monitor at the same time, it would not work for me. I need a uh, additional uh, HDMI or display port. So, Sorry about the shitty camera angles uh, with this, but hey, hopefully you got something out of it. And uh, you saw the improvement. You saw how much more power is drawn. Uh, and this is, I will tell you, um, definitely more power drawn with the addition of the 1x4 to the 1x8 for extreme overclocking. All right. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.